Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today we're going to do part three of the K40 laser bed. Uh, this time I'm finishing off the actual circuitry and I'm getting straight on with the coding. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm going to start off by wiring up things like this is the ground that's come all the way around, but there is a ground up here that I'm going to wire in. And um, I want to get some wires in for this. So I, I don't know how far away I want the joystick yet. I don't know how far away I want the screen. So I'm going to put some wiring in that will give us a couple of foot of um, distance and then I can cut it down as needed once I've decided where it's going in the K40. I think it's probably going to go on the front panel where I put all my other panels, but I don't know yet and I'm not going to make that decision yet. I can't be bothered. Now, I went on Fritzing. I've got an old version of Fritzing. I went to upgrade it. They want $9 for it and I can't afford that at the moment, so I used the old version. Um, and it looks like, well, it looks like Piccadilly hit King's Cross at a very, very fast rate. Um, I'll put a picture of this up on the screen in a minute, but what I wouldn't say is all of this is fine, all of this is fine, and so on, but the wiring for the actual screen, I couldn't find the exact screen. So the wiring for the screen is approximately right, but I might put up on the screen what each one of the actual um, bits on the back of the screen mean. So like, you know, you've got on here... Um, S-E-K, M-I-S-O, and so on. They all have different names. Um, so sometimes when you're looking at the coding in Arduino, you think, well, I haven't got that M-I-S-O um, connection, that kind of thing. And it's because they've called it something different. So if I put a list of sort of like the translations of what they could be called, that might help you because then <coughs> these, um, these little screens are a pain in the bottom. This, for, for some reason, has been the easiest one I've ever got set up. I literally plugged it in, I got some um, demo code off the internet, and it worked immediately. That never normally happens. So um, when you get this, make sure whichever one you do decide to use, it comes with a lot of sort of like help and so on. Now, if you are following me exactly, um, then <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But um, if you can't get the exact same screen, you might need to re-look at the code a little bit. But anyway, I'm going to get on. I, I will just speed through some of it and then sh uh, dip to black somewhere just, you know, because it won't be that interesting just watching me soldering paths and so on. Um, I'm doing this partly now because of I've, I started this way. I quite enjoy doing soldering paths and so on. But um, also, not everyone knows how to make um, their own circuit boards, which I, I think I'll I, I have done a little bit of that way back in the past. But I might do some more because I've got a few more projects I need to do. And I am genuinely thinking about making a really nice um, soldered board and so on. But anyway, I'm going to ca crack on with this then and I'll be back soon. Right, I'm not sure about how much I said about this. But um, one of the things I'm going to be doing is having two um, limit switches. One for the bottom of the bed, so when the bed comes down it sort of knows where it is. And one for the top of the bed so it doesn't go any further and sort of push itself off. Um, as I start fiddling around, I might have it so that when the laser turns on, it, the bed automatically goes all the way to its start position and then up to whatever it's designed to be on. I just don't know. Right, anyone who's used to my designs and builds are used to this kind of thing happening. This is a nest of wires, all to different parts and pieces. This doesn't have to look like this. It's easy enough to make a little board that you clip on here and it has everything connected. But I just decided to be messy and really the usual, to be honest. Um, I've labelled everything so I can just wire it all in easily. Right, excuse the mess, but I'm about to test this um, screen for the first time um, with the, the current setup. So hopefully nothing goes boom. Let's put that down so I don't burn my hands off if I do spark somewhere. Right, and then... Oh. And it's working. Awesome. Now I can test it for the first time. Now, I'm testing it with a friend of mine's code. His name's David. He's an excellent guy and he helps me out with a lot of projects. And he uh, writ some code just to do a simple... Um, Basically, the, uh, the the stepper goes up to a fixed point. Well, to a point when it touches the install, the now installed um, limit switches. So it'll go up to the top, then go down to the bottom, just so it can work itself where it is in space. Um, yeah. So he did all the coding. None of <clears throat> none of what I'm about to test is his, uh, is mine. 
um, but I will be doing some of the um, LCD coding unless I get stuck on that and then he'll do it for me he's always at that kind of thing so this is my first test with his coding well since it's got working again I should say okay it's been about three months since that last clip um, and through the beauty of editing here I am again um, if you'd like to know why I've got a video somewhere explaining why I've been away for so long but um, I'm back onto it now number one I need to say again thank you so much to David David's the guy who's taking the time out of his own life busy life to write the code for this bed because when I started writing it up my brain just exploded and I died no um, I just struggled loads and loads I couldn't do it and um, I got it sort of working so it would go up and down but that was literally it he is going above and beyond he's making this thing bells and whistles the whole works and it, without him this this project probably would have died very soon on because I was close to giving up and he was like no you know I'll do it for you now he's the other side of the world he is making this without any of the soft um, any of the hardware I've got and he's literally just typing it out sending something across I'm trying it going yeah actually that works and then he's adding another bit and so on and I really do appreciate it mate genuinely um, if you guys really like this video Give it a thumbs up and then shove it down in the comment section. Thanks, David, because I'd really appreciate that as well. Um, right, so I'd like to show you where we are now. I've um, got the basic code. He hasn't completed it. He's, he, he won't allow it, me to um, say it's complete yet because he's got so much he wants to add to it. And it's epic amounts of stuff he's doing. But basically, he's written a code that goes from the bottom to the top to find the potential of uh, the limit switches so it knows where the top and bottom is and then it's going to do a few other things and it's going to calibrate itself and all this you know it's calibrating itself I, I thought to myself how the hell's he thought that up I wouldn't have had a clue mine would have just done random stuff but anyway I'm going to show you where it is now uh, and then I need to start adding limit switches and various other things to it because um, I've got the limit switches in a little clamp which you'll see me press and I'll point them out but I need to connect them to the actual table and that's going to be a bit of brain power to work out where and how and so on but once I've done that um, it's just the coding then and of actually I need to make a box for all the electronics okay so yes it looks like an absolute pile of mess at the moment there's not really much I can do about that um, but what I'll show you first then these are the limit switches here which will be connected to the actual bed eventually one at the top one at the bottom this is just the, the Arduino and the stepper driver. We've got the joystick and then we've got the screen here. I know you've seen it all before, but I'm just sort of trying to show you where it is. This is a stepper motor I'm using for testing, but the actual one is on the bed here. So we'll plug in the stepper on the bed first. Right, and then I'll plug this in. And that's it calibrating itself and that's where we are at the moment but he's also done this let me show you right it's on the screen now I can change how many mils I want it and then with the joystick it's now an enter button as well and it's, it's still in its infancy but obviously eventually it'll be negative and positive but, but that's where it is so far so now I've got to get into um, put in the actual limit switches on here and I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do it yet okay so there we are that's when I'm going to have to leave it this week um, in the next video I'm going to make an enclosure for all the electronics and I'd like to get all of the coding done and get the limit switches sorted out um, I've worked out actually how to connect them where they're not going to be in the way and they will do top and bottom etc um, but hopefully David will help me with a little bit more of the programming uh, this week sometime you know he's been doing so much of it I'm really really happy and I'm really I'm really chuffed I've got friends that will go out of their way to you know help me with these things hopefully soon we'll have a working K40 bed and it just means I can um, experiment with different materials different thicknesses and so on you know um, I am thinking about making a rotating bed too but that will be in the future obviously I have loads of things to do for the K40 I've got a cooling system I've got an underbed fan system 
um, a front of the case fan system and probably about three other things that I can't think of offhand. Um, but they will all be coming, just give it time and obviously I have to save up money for each project you know in between just to make sure I've got enough so I don't start a project and then wait months no, normally wait months just to save up money um, so I like to get all of the stuff ready and then just make the video you know um, so yeah I've got a few more things to buy for a few more bits but we're getting there anyway thank you so much for watching I will see you again soon bye for now